Uh, hi, my name is Nemo Moreau and this is my Tizzy Talks feature. I am a lawyer and content creator. I run a health, wellness and fitness blog called Antinemo. The website is antinemo.com. Um, on there I talk about health, wellness, having fun, healthy recipes and living a, a well-rounded, um, healthy lifestyle. Skin care and nutrition are important to me because everything that you put in your gut is reflected on your face. And if you have an unhealthy gut, you possibly will have an unhealthy face. And I think those two work very, very well together and very closely together. So I think that you need to take care of what's inside and also what's outside. Um, I've been working out diligently for about four to five years, but I've always been an athletic child um, and an athletic adult. But seriously working out and taking care of my body and eating well and being very conscious about what I'm doing for about four to five years. What made me start working out consistently was gaining freshman 15. I got to uni, was very, very excited about all the new things and all the freedom, and I ended up stopping to work out and went more into eating unhealthier foods. Um, and in that, I ended up gaining freshman 15, which is a very okay thing to happen. I just didn't feel comfortable in my body and I didn't feel radiant and healthy and um, good about myself. So I started working out. Healthy living has made the biggest difference in my life, specifically because of quarantine. Now, in quarantine, I was living alone for a while. And when you're living by yourself, you feel very isolated because you can't go out of the house because you're under lockdown. Um, and having the ability to learn how to cook food, foods that are good for my body made me feel much better about how my day was going. If I had a healthy breakfast, lunch and dinner, I was sure to feel a bit better about the day despite the fact that I was stuck in the house. Um, and working out, having those regular endorphins in my body, despite the fact that I couldn't go outside and run, has changed everything about the way I viewed quarantine, about the way I viewed lockdown. I've been staying fit during quarantine by doing home workouts. I started off by getting Insanity by Sean T. And then I moved on to getting Insanity Max, also by Shanti. And they were just very great hit workouts that made me feel very refreshed and very strong and very good about my body. I don't have a cheat meal. I don't necessarily believe in cheat meals. Um, my entire philosophy and website is all about eating, feeding your soul and also feeding your body. Feeding your body means eating the regular things that you know are supposed to be good for you. Eating your vegetables, your whole grains and your protein. And then eating for the soul is having the piece of cake that you want at any time, not because it's a day that you've decided to cheat your way out of healthy living. I think that healthy living is very holistic and I don't believe in diet, so I also don't believe in cheat meals. Eat your brown rice and your broccoli, but also eat your cake and your cookies at any time. I think they are very restrictive on the body and very damaging to the mind. Um, I think that when you have a diet, you deny your body certain things that it requires. So if you're having a juice, a juicing week or a week that you're eating salads, the, the, the time that you decide to get out of that diet, you end up binging. So I think diets are very, very harmful to the body and mind. And then, and I developed an idea to go into guilt-free health, which basically means you eat what you're supposed to eat in moderation at all times. And then when you feel the need to have a treat, a snack, an ice cream, a cookie, a piece of cake, you don't do so and punish yourself. You just eat it, feel happy about it, and move on. I stay motivated by the good feeling that you have after you work out and the good feeling that you have after you eat very well. 
I think that there's always a certain kind of energy that you have post ski and post workout and a certain energy that you have when you eat well. You feel good about yourself, you feel good about the steps in life that you're taking. So that, that specific feeling is what makes me want to do more and to stay on top. If you're watching this video and you want to start a healthy life, do what you know you need to do. Every single person knows what they need to do to be healthy. If it's stopping to smoke, if it's reducing your alcohol intake, if it's reducing how much sugar you take, you know exactly what you need to do, but make sure that it's catered to you. Make sure that you're not copying someone else's routine because that was catered to them. Make sure that you are taking in the things that are available to you, that are affordable for you, and that make you feel good, not because someone else told you that that's what you have to do. Thank you for watching my feature on Tizzy Talks. I hope you got some insight on how to live a guilt-free, healthy lifestyle. For more videos like this and for more information like this, go to tizzytalks.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.